He made headlines for all the wrong reasons, attacking former Prime Minister Raila Odinga and Kwale Governor Salim Vuria as they enjoyed a dance on Monday. A brief incident that has elicited mixed feelings from Kenyans. But the incident has today brought him to an unfamiliar territory, the Kwale Law Courts. There was some drama after the charges were read to him before Magistrate Christine Jagi. But he had to take a plea. His case will be mentioned on 14th of October after P3 forms are filled by Raila Odinga and Salim Vuria. Police arrested Lengo as he gardened his employer's farm in Kinango. As long as they are concerned, he committed a crime. When he discovered there's, that uh, some dignitaries were coming around, he saw it as an opportunity to be able to access uh, these uh, dignitaries and be able to get some handouts because he's jobless and uh, starving. And uh, he was prevented and uh, pushed and that he only whipped the man who prevented him from uh, uh, accessing the lingeries. But his comments differed with that of his employer, Nasim Issa. Tonilimuliza kama ulienda kule, akaniambia lienda, lakini yale maneno haya kumfurahisha, ndo alisema tu hayo. Mm, saili. Maneno gani ya swambaya? Si hiyo ya uko wa Kenya. Up until yesterday, Lengo Mzomba had lived in this particular house here in Kinango for slightly over two months. The family says they have never seen him with a walking stick. Yeah, siku mwona ubaya wake wa inayoyote mimi. Manai siku mwona na ulevi, wala kukosa adabu, wala kunikosea shima hata siku moja. Lengo Mzomba, who is not married and whose home is in Kaloleni in neighboring Kilifi County, had once worked for them for close to a year when he was young. Ah, mimi sidhani kama ana shida ya kiakili. Pengine kama yualipuka baadaye lakini mimi sijamwona akinikosea na jambo lolote. The Monday incident came as a shock to the family which has pleaded with the authorities to release him. But now the law has to take its course. Peter Mongangi NTV Kwale County.